Shalom, Shalom. This is the brother Daniel Allah coming back again with another lesson. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha Hakodash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the only power in the universe. All right, the only ultimate supreme power. All right, Yahweh, the heavenly Father. All right, Yahweh Bahashim means in the name Yahweh Shai. Is uh, his only begotten son, all right, the second supreme power in the universe, all right. Uh, Ba'ashim means in the name, and Racha Kodash means uh, the Holy Spirit or Spirit Holy, right. Double one is the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that taught us the truth and that rule well. And Shalom to the hopeful elect brothers and sisters that believe in this word and that fear in the Most High and His Son. And, um, just doing a quick response to uh, our last camp vi uh, camp video where we had a uh, an older uh, individual come up, you know, and uh, you know, was basically breaking bread through with him through the spirit, uh, you know, bringing out and edifying, you know, on different things uh, on repentance, repentance, right, and what it means to repent and where you could start and um. One of the things that came up was um, how, basically how, how you uh, uh, groom or, or how you go about uh, your hair, all right, and your beard. You know, not trimming and um, shaping up the edges of your beard or the edges of your head. And um, I'm gonna play this little uh, 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 a little bit of our this past camp because I really want to make a point. You know, a a lot of this, um, these things that the average person, the average Israelite or Jake would think is a, a light thing is not a light thing to the Most High. You know, the things that they look at something light, you know, is, is really super small, minuscule, insignificant, right? It's very significant and a big deal and it's heavy, all right? Not light. Okay, in terms of the, in terms of what the Most High uh, 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 commanded us to do, so I'm gonna play this and then we're gonna get some scriptures. Like the way you said, it's safe from us. There's danger coming from. Huh? Where's it coming from? Where's that? Yeah. Most High standing in the sun. Oh, he ain't started nothing yet. <laughs> he said it won't be water. It'll be fire this time. But see, but see, a lot of people say that. A lot of people. Exactly. So, you know, a lot of people, you know, quote that scripture that the Lord is coming with fire instead of water, right? But never consider that they could get caught up in the fire. Hey, real quick, let me grab this real quick through the Spirit. Um, melt you, right? This is the book of. Um, this is the book of Ezekiel chapter 22, and I'll start at verse 19. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, because ye are all become dross, right? What is a uh, dross? Real quick, let's look at the definition. We're going to go here. We're going to look up the definition of dross, right? Dross. Definition. So dross. Something regarded as worthless. Rubbish, right? Debris. Chaffed. Draft. Right? Foreign matter, dregs, or mineral waste. In particular, particular... In particular, scum formed on the surface of molten metal, right? So the worth something that is worthless, that's regarded as a uh, chaff, right? Because the chaff is worthless, you can't eat it, right? That's the part of the wheat that you don't need, right? Um, so that's dross, something regarded as worthless, rubbish, right? So let's get it. Because this is concerning Jer Jerusalem. This is concerning our people. We have become 
like dross. Um, therefore, worthless, right? You know, and those whom the Lord deem in this time to be worthless, oh, they're going to have a uh, hor horrific judgment. Those whom the Lord uh, uh, has deemed to be valuable, all right, are the elect. This is Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 19. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, Yahweh, the, the, the capital G-O-D, that's the Lord's name there, the Heavenly Father. Because ye are all become dross, behold, therefore I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem. And as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin in the midst of the furnace to blow fire upon it. Right. So you got silver, you got brass, you got iron, you got lead, you got tin, the different metals. Right. It goes through a purification process. Right. To purify it, to get all the different unwanted waste and materials that's on it out of it. They burn it away. Right. It says to blow fire upon it, to melt it. So will I gather you in my anger and in my fury and I will leave you there and melt you. Right. So a lot of people, they talk about the Lord's coming back with fire. Right. Oh, 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 look, Salak here. Let's, let's just give you more context on who this is talking, who this is talking to. Ezekiel 22 and 18. Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. So this is talking about the house of Israel. The two thirds, right? The two thirds are the dross. The one third, which is the elect, is that silver and that fine gold. The Lord's going to purify the elect, but he's going to burn away all the dross, which is the two thirds, right? Um, it says, uh, all they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even the dross of silver. So, so they're all, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, you know, um, you know, inferior, uh, waste, or, uh, 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 you know, unwanted and worthless uh, uh, material that the Lord wants to burn away. Right. Um, and he said, what? He's going to leave you there and melt you. The Lord's going to leave two thirds here in America to melt them. Right. Um, here, we, we got to get this classic real quick, because, you know, a lot of people, they, they will quote that they will quote. Um, or they'll make mention of that fact of the scripture that the Lord is bringing fire, but they'll never consider that, hey, I, I, I could be caught up in that fire. Or it doesn't dawn on them that what do I need to do to not be caught up in that fire, right? So uh, let's see, Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. It says, and it shall come to pass in all the land, all of Israel, or amongst the people of the Israel, Israelites, Saith the Lord in Salakia, it says in all the land. What land is that talking about? America, Babylon, the great. Saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So two thirds over here in America are going to be cut off and die. Right. But the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire and refine. And will refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. So the elect are going to call upon the name of the Lord. Okay? Yahweh, the Father's name, and Yahweh Shai, uh, the, the Savior's name, right? The power in the Lord. Okay? It says, and I will, and I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, the Lord... Um, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai is my power, right? And we say Bahashim Yahweh Shai, all right, because all the the benefits that we receive, you know, the Holy Spirit is through the Lord Yahweh Shai, all right? So there you go. So two thirds is considered that dross, all right? You have, you know, we don't want the Lord to leave us here and melt us. Right. And that the different that could be 
something as small as, uh, uh, um, you know, topping up your beard, you know, uh, you know, shaving, uh, lining up your head, or 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 eating uh, abominable food, though you were warned by the prophets not to do those things. Something as small as that could get you destroyed. Right. Especially now you're held accountable. All right. You're held accountable because you've been told and you've been warned. So these different things are not they're not light at all. Right. And and, and I'm going to get a precept, too. Right. For example, we're going uh, uh, eating eating pork. Some people think that's a light thing. Oh, yeah, it's just pork, man. You know, I can eat whatever I want. It's just pork. You know, outside of it being unhealthy for you, right? Let's get this, man. You know, because, you know, you're not supposed to eat um, pork, you know, Le Leviticus 11 and 7. And it's, it is not, it is not a light thing to eat that, man. It's very heavy. It, 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 it defiles your temple, right? And you know what? Let's, let's, let's get that first, Right? You know, same thing with marring the corners of your bed, which the word mar means what? To destroy, right? To um, basically, really, basically to defile. Uh, real quick, let me get this. Uh, First Corinthians 3 and 17. Let's, let's get this in the blue letter real quick. So I'm going to look up that word defile. Blue letter. And I expected this uh, video to be short, but the Lord has me, uh, hi, man. it's not too long, but um, I feel like you covered a lot of information in a short period of time. Um, so let's go to, uh, where is it at? The word defile here. I'm going to read the scripture. It says, if any man defile the temple of the Most High, who's the temple of the Most High? Right, the temple of the Most High is your body, all right, where your spirit is housed. All right, not only your spirit, but the Lord can have his spirit reside uh, within you also. Okay? It says, um, him shall the Most High destroy, for the temple of the Most High is holy, which temple ye are. So the Israelites are the temple of the Most High. Right? The Most High cannot dwell in a, a filthy temple, man. Okay? The Lord can't have, you know, um, His Holy Spirit uh, amongst uh, um, defiled individuals of our nation, man. That's unclean. Right? And, and many things can make you defiled, right? <clears throat> You know, uh, 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 idolatry, uh, adultery, you know, uh, uh, eat, uh, eating abominable food, abominable acts, right? Taking heed unto lies and certain uh, philosophies, right? The left hand. So these different things can defile you, man. Okay. Um, let me see here. Uh, let's get the word for defile. So the word for the file, let's listen to it in the Greek. Strong's G, 5351. Thyro. Thyro. It's thyro, okay? So it says to destroy by means of corrupting and so bringing into a worse state, right? So hold on, hold on. Let's, let's hold that. Let's, let's hold that in our minds real quick. Let's go over here to um, um, let me see Leviticus twenty-seven. Is it twenty-seven and nineteen? I might have it backwards. Yeah, I have it backwards. Okay, let's go to Leviticus chapter nineteen and verse twenty-seven. Let's see. Here we go. So it says, ye shall not round 
and this is in the law, ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shall ye mar the corners of thy beard. So that means getting the shape up. Now, when you go into the word mar, like I mentioned earlier, which is shakath or shakath, right in the Hebrew, shakath, it means what? To destroy, corrupt, go to ruin, decay, right? To, to, to spoil, to pervert, all right? So that's what it means to destroy, you know. You know, destroy also goes back to, to destructure, right? So you destroy or you de you, you um, change the structure of how the Most High created your hair to grow, your beard to grow, right? The Most High have already created it the way he wanted it to be, and you're destroying it, right? You're spoiling it. You're ruining your beard, Right? You're de in other words, you're defiling it. So there you go. You've defiled yourself by, you know, rounding your rounding the corners of your head, you know, getting shape ups on your, your hairline, crispy hairline, crispy beard. So now you're defiling you're defiling your body, man. Right? It means to destroy. So now when we go back here. Um you know, uh, that first Corinthians, he who defiled the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. So, right, we got this from the Vines Expository, which is was thyro to destroy by means of corrupting, right? Bible usage. Uh, in the, it says uh, to corrupt, to destroy. That's what it means to defile, man. To in an ethical sense, to corrupt, deprave, to destroy, to perish. It says, lead away a Christian church from the state of knowledge and holiness in which it ought to abide. Right? And in knowledge and holiness that you ought to abide when it comes to your hairline and your beard line is to leave it alone. You know, you can cut your hair down low. You can cut your beard down low. But don't touch them edges, man. You know, rock what you got. Even if you do got patches in your beard or you got sideburns that don't connect to the to the you know to the bottom of your beard, rock with the most I gave you. It says, in the opinion of the Jews, the temple was corrupted or destroyed when when anyone defiled or in the slightest degree damaged anything in it, or if its guardians neglected their duties. So this is talking about you know the physical temple. Right, but to corrupt or destroy or to the you know to defile. So in in cutting your hair bald or cutting yourself bald, cause hey look, the most high make hair to grow out of your head for for a reason, man. You know we might not know all the details for some of the laws that the most high has set up, right? We might not know all the the details or the the different purposes for it, right? But we know. That you know is 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 righteous, is perfect. It has a purpose, even though we might not know those particular details. Is not you know uh, uh, revealed unto us about the law, you know particular laws, right? But it's it's all perfect and it serves a, a a higher purpose, man, according to to the will of the Most High, right? But the Lord made hair to grow out of your head for a reason. If he wanted you to be bald, you would just be born bald, not growing any hair. Right? If he wanted you to not have a beard, you would just have a beard, not you be baby face. If he wanted you to be baby face, right? So there you go, man. There you go. And really, that's not a light thing, because we just read he that defile the temple of the most high, him shall the most high destroy. Now, I want to get this example here. You know. Here, I'll get this example also because we, we, we can't really just freestyle and do whatever, man. You know, and we can't take obedience into the most high lightly. Though we, you know, we keep the things that we can keep and the things that we can't keep, the Lord has covered. So we try to keep the law of treasure commandments to the best of our ability, right? The things that we cannot keep, the Lord has us covered for that. Right. But we have to try. 
Okay. Now this is uh, an account in Leviticus chapter ten. It says, And Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, took either of them his censer. Right, so a censer is where you will put incense to, to burn smoke or whatever. And these are priests, the sons of Aaron, priests. It says, And put fire therein, and put incense thereon, and offered strange fire before the Lord, which he commanded them not. So they were offering something. That the Lord didn't command them to offer, man. Right? They 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 had they were burning. Uh, I don't know what they were burning, right? Or what they were uh, offering, but they they offered something strange to the Most High. It's strange because it's outside of what the Most High commanded them to do. And guess what happened? They they thought it was a light thing, you know. They thought it was a light thing. To, and just do whatever all willy-nilly, right? To not go according to what the law of, of the Most High has told them to do, right? Because the Most High is very specific about a lot of things when it comes to the law. So they, those different specifications, they ignored them, right? And let's hear, we'll hear what happened to them. It says, and offered strange fire before the Lord, which he commanded them not. And there went out fire from the Lord and devoured them, and they died before the Lord, because they didn't take heed to those uh, uh, specific things that the Lord told them to do. You know, they offered up something that the Lord didn't tell them to offer up, and therefore, the Lord destroyed them. They thought what the Lord told them to do was a light thing. Same thing with any other law, like I said, that we're able to keep in this time. It's not a light thing, man. It's not, you know, and, and I guess this is kind of a continuation of a video I did earlier on uh, last week on, um, you know, uh, the law is not done away with. We, we have to obey. Right. We have, you know. Um, so let me get this, too. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 66. I'm going to start at verse 15 because, you know, they were talking about the fire. And, and what was coming out, you know what? Let me um, play some more of this, and then we're going to get Isaiah 66, right? They quote that, but, but, but what are they doing to try to prevent themselves of yeah. getting caught up, being caught up in the fire? Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Because you, you, you may take things a little light, lightly. You might say, you know what? It, it's just it's just a big or it's just, it's just a shade on my head. You, as a man, may think that light. Just like when you was a child, you could have say, uh, the street lights came on, my dad said, time to come, come to the house. He'd be all right for that 10 minutes. Yeah, then what is the day? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, you disobeyed her. Guess what? I mean what I say. You, dis you, 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 you did what you wanted to do. Basically, you said, at me. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. You want to say something? No, I mean, I'm just trying to let the spirit flow. I don't want to, you know, interject. I'm just no, go ahead, brother. Flow. Go ahead, man. Yeah, so the brother made the point, you know, that to, to the average, you know, or you might think it's a light thing. You know, it's just, you know, it's just hair on your head, you know, hair on your face, you know, shape it up, try to make it look crispy, you know. A lot of times it'd be for the women. <laughs> right? But uh you know, you might look at it as a as, as a light thing. And then he gave the example of, you know, your dad telling you to come in before the street lights come on. Right? And then you disregard, you take it as a light thing, you disregard what your what your dad said about those street lights coming on. Right, you come in ten minutes after the street lights are on, and then you get punished for it because you took it as a light thing. It's not, you know. So um, let's get this because we're gonna see what the Lord really thinks about eating abomination, man. It is not once again. It is not a light thing. Why? Because you defile your temple, and as we just read, the Most High will destroy you for defiling your temple. This is how serious this is, man. This is how serious this is. You can die for eating pork. You can die for eating shrimp, lobster, 
rats because it says you know the abomination of rats and swine's flesh you can the lord can can the lord can come out of a hey, the lord when he bring those chariots and those great angels man right those magnificent chariots the lord can crack open the skies come out them skies you you might be a hey, hey you might be in the middle of eating you some barbecue pork ribs you might be in the middle of, 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 of eating you some some fried pork chops. And the Lord send a chariot and send that hot laser beam to turn you into powder. That's how serious this is. You can burn to death, right, for eating swine's flesh. That's how serious this is. The Most High doesn't take that lightly. I'm going to read. Salaki, I'm, I'm speaking a little too much. Um, Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Right? So the chariots are going to be bringing the fire, right? But also those nuclear missiles. But the chariots are going to be here first uh, shooting out laser beams and uh, 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 delivering the elect. Okay? To render his anger with furies and his rebuke with furies, Salakia, and his rebuke with flames of fire. Those laser beams, right? Those horns coming out of the, out of out of the Lord's hand. It says, uh, "For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead, meaning punish, Mashapat, right? To judge with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many." Slain and those whom the Lord will kill shall be many, right? It says, they that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh, eating swine's flesh. I'm going to say it one more time. Eating swine's flesh, eating pork. Eating pig, eating pig feet, pork chops, barbecue, pork ribs. Okay? Pork steak, pork whatever, man. Pork head, the whole damn pig. Right? And the abomination, that's all the other animals that we were commanded not to eat because they were unclean, they were abominable, and they'll defile your temple. That shrimp, lobster, crabs, uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, what do you call that? Um, scallops and you know all these all these different abominable foods, right? And the mouse. There are going to be people eating mice in that time, man. You get people eating mice on a stick, right? You got Eve out here eating her, her eating her freaking dog, man. Fucking roasted dog. Eating snakes, man, right? And then and then got the nerve to take take a video of it, man. Got the nerve to videotape it. The Lord's gonna the Lord's gonna destroy you with fire for that, man. Right? It says, um, and the mouth shall be consumed together, say if the Lord, the word consumes me to be destroyed, right? In this sense, a fire, right? The scriptures, when, when, you know, talk about fire consuming, burning things up, you know, devouring everything in its path, right? Consume, right? Fire, okay? Going to be uh, uh, consumed all together, man, for eating these abominable foods, man. So it's not, it's not a light thing to obey the Lord, okay? It's, it's, these these laws are not uh, 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 this disobeying the law such as commandments of the Lord is not a light thing. Okay, so um, with that, you know, Lord will you are edified, and I'm gonna say shalom.